The truth mm -hmm. is Data Art is a decent sized company at this point with almost 6,000 people of which India is a very small part today. But our ambition is to be many times larger and many times serving many times more clients and to, to be a truly global player. And India absolutely has a key strategic place in our vision of global, of global data. A very warm welcome everyone and uh, welcome to another insightful episode on Mobile App Daily. Today we have the pleasure of hosting two distinguished guests from Data Art, a global technology consultancy at the forefront of innovation and excellence. Please join me in welcoming Alexi Miller, Managing Director and a key figure in strategic sales and client engagement efforts at Data Art. So Alexi, a very warm welcome and thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Tanvin. Good to be here. And alongside Alexi, we have Sheetal Kale, the accomplished managing director and head of data art R&D India. Sheetal brings a wealth of experience and expertise to the table, especially in fostering flexibility, work-life balance and professional development within the organization. Sheetal, we are delighted to have you on the show. Thank you, Tanvi, and uh, thank you for having me here. Well, pleasure is all ours. And so together we'll delve into the world of technology, strategy, system development, and the innovative strides that data art is making in the industry. So uh, again, a very warm welcome to both of you. So uh, Alexi, so let's start with you. Uh, so your company is ranked as the best IT employer in Ukraine with 87% attention rate. First of all, that's impressive. So congratulations. Uh, now, based on the current disturbance in with Russia, how is the employment affected in your company now? Well, thank you for acknowledging um, our past successes and being uh, for, for the concern for the for the disturbance. Indeed, um, uh, situations like the war in Ukraine affect uh, companies such as Datart with operations in Ukraine and on other countries significantly. And as you as you probably know. Datart has over 25 years of experience operating in different kind of, uh, countries, most recently in India, which we'll, we'll discuss and which we're very excited about. But prior to that, the roots of the company has always been in between New York and Eastern Europe, which included, broadly speaking, Ukraine, Russia, Poland, Bulgaria, and Armenia, and a host of other countries over the years. And obviously, uh, once the current event started, the company made a decision to exit its business in Russia, but double our commitments, commitment to Ukraine. That was a painful period and it continues to affect us. Um, I'm grateful for your uh, note that we've had for years actually, and in several countries been recognized as one of the better uh, IT employers. And it was always based on this notion of the culture of taking care of our people, of doing good work and prioritizing interests of individuals, whether they are employed by DataArt, whether the shareholders of DataArt or clients of DataArt, individuals, uh, their human human needs and human priorities. And so I think that's uh, in large part what allowed us to uh, earn these high, high marks. We continue to strive for the same or similar level of recognitions. We're very far from it in India, which is making our first, uh, first steps, obviously. But I think it's fair to say that we have um, emerged post our sort of exit from Russia and uh, despite the terrible toll that the conflict in Ukraine uh, has on some of our Ukraine on many of our U Ukrainian employees I think as a whole as a company we continue to lead lean on culture and try to maintain these standards not always easy not always possible perhaps but so far we're holding up uh, pretty well so now, uh, since you've mentioned that you've recently expanded your global footprint uh, in India, so Sheetal, let's come to you. So uh, this recent expansion and launching a new excellence center in India, how has the experience been so far? Do you find any specific benefits of working from India? Uh, so let me just uh, take this uh... I mean, so I'll just split this question in two halves. Mm -hmm. uh, coming to uh, setting up in India and how the experience has been, of course, as you rightly said, Tanvi, we are quite new in India. Mm -hmm. uh, having said this, uh, operationally, strategically, 
and planning wise we are doing excellent in all spheres uh, when i look at myself how we started maybe sometime in the month of april which is really new and today uh, so it has been operationally very satisfying and i would like to add here that the satisfaction level the level of uh, you know positivity that i see in this uh, area of business or in this location of data art has also primarily been because we have in a very extensive global uh you know uh, association with our global colleagues i wouldn't have been here or maybe my small little center here as a location wouldn't have been what it is today uh, if not for our extensive global team that has supported us a lot because uh, it started with just one person now we are of course reaching to about 12 people so uh, it's small steady slow yet like i said operationally a wonderful uh, you know uh, journey till date and I, it continues to be and uh, we work with some very good third party uh, partners here in india who are kind of supporting us in our legal requirements our accounting requirements so all in all it's been very satisfying uh, uh, how we are doing today now coming to your uh, second question on uh, what makes us you know uh, look at india uh, of course and what are the benefits of working in india uh, uh, the data art you know data art had this vision and we've always been very organic in our growth number one uh, so before i talk about the benefits so you know uh, we we never pushed rushed or jumped into doing anything just because the market's demanded or maybe some wise man demanded that it has to be done it was very organic and so happened our coming to india uh, expanding this location expanding into this geography so when i say that it's been very organic and we are very organic in our approach even when it comes to india automatically uh it's like a no rush push kind of a uh, mechanism that we would have in this country to grow this location of course as per the location dynamics uh, location necessities location laws we will kind of you know have uh, our entry or you know grow into this location as per the need yet it's going to be organic nothing you know like pushed through various sources or various other uh, demands mm -hmm. what benefits are there of course uh, this i'm going to generalize uh, of course mm -hmm. we see these benefits even for data art india or data art global or data art uh, we are here to kind of uh, you know utilize the diverse it pool uh, that india brings in without yeah. doubt you and me and even alexi agrees that we have the numbers in india and that's where we would like to focus on we would like to focus on you know the the diverse it pool we would like to focus on the emerging technologies that india uh, is again throwing up to us globally in numbers whether it comes to data science whether it comes to ai ml and so on and so forth so that is one benefit we see in india secondly mm -hmm. of course uh, is also cost efficiency we feel that uh, in comparison to certain other locations we are cost efficient and of course when i say cost efficient we are efficient when it comes to both uh, labor and operational mm -hmm. costs so we kind of uh, are looking at cost efficiency models uh, mm -hmm. uh, when uh, you know we look at data art as a whole uh what else uh, of course being on the eastern asian side of the globe we also are able to kind of uh, bring in the time zone advantage mm. uh, maybe our customers uh, would be in the united states or in the united kingdom yet we are able to service them 24 by 7 maybe by opening up asia as a whole maybe by opening up india so you know uh, we would like to kind of service our clients 
24 by 7, right from where the sun rises in Japan and sets mm -hmm. in Hawaii and all the countries in between. So, you know, this kind of uh, time zone advantage is what we are looking at, uh, at Data Art. And uh, of course, without, uh, you know, the cultural diversity that mm -hmm. India brings in and the collaboration that India brings in, these are very pivotal to uh, our expansion plans uh, for Data Art because this, this cultural diversity kind of, fosters how we as a global company can work in diverse uh, you know work environments how we encourage collaboration amongst teams who kind of maybe having perceptions maybe having some myths maybe having some preconceived you know experiences so all these kind of things could be maybe broken into one data art by working in india <laughs> Uh, so for both of you, with thousands of software development com companies um, all around the world, what makes data art the one clients must choose? Must must is a strong word. I think I think um, it's a good choice for many, uh, not all. And uh, data art has made a name for itself for, primarily for two reasons. One is, we already discussed, is this fairly unique culture of treating employees, shareholders, and clients as human beings. It sounds very sort of abstract and, and, and maybe not, not material, but it actually translates into very specific flavor of customer, customer service. Many clients who work with us quote a variety of this um, quote attributed to Warren Buffett that sounds roughly like this. It's only when the tide goes out that we see who's been swimming naked. And so what, what clients mean by referring to that quote is that they thought is a partner in good times and bad. Not, it, there's not, not a single large and mission critical project that happens without any trouble. Things always happen, sometimes mm. bad, sometimes good, but it's important to always work together to care about your personal needs as you develop a certain certain projects about your priorities, not losing track of why we're doing things and making money is not always the acceptable answer or the only the only answer. So at Data Art, we've developed over the years this, cult, this culture of customer service and treating each other that I think is valued by customers. And so that's one. The second is um, Data Art, we haven't discussed it today, but we're making huge investments over the last 20 years in building what we call industry practices. That's really mm -hmm. deep domain expertise in, at this point, five industry verticals, five domains mm -hmm. where Data Art comes to clients and says, we're not just tech experts, we're tech experts who understand the intricate details of that particular industry. We understand mm -hmm. the standards, the regulations, the needs of people, um, and we've done things in that industry and that makes us a lot more efficient. So we're known as this expert in these five industry sectors and that would bring a lot of client interest to us. Okay, that's beautiful. And uh, lastly, in five years, how would you want your company to be known globally? So, well, globally correct. is the key word here. I think, uh, oh. I think we, we, we started, it's, I'll, I'll go back to, to what Sheetal was describing uh, so well in a few minutes ago about this organic way of data art. Uh, data art is, 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 has never wanted to be a Frankenstein, something that is jumbled together based on these parts that don't necessarily want to live together. Yeah. We started literally with nothing and we grew to about 6,000 em em employees. So five years from now, we will obviously be larger uh, mm -hmm. that that goes without saying, but and we will be we will be known as one of the leading global players in the IT consultancy consultancy space. But perhaps equally important, maybe even more importantly, we want to be known that as as a company that works as one, mm -hmm. one one corporate culture, one team, similar or one standard of serving serving clients, regardless of whether they work in Armenia or Ukraine or India or US and and so on and so forth. And I think it's it's valuable and it's needed by by the market because there's so many stereotypes that a lot of business people have about individual countries. There's, there's so many uh, mistakes that people fail to, to learn from, that there's this hunger in, in the industry for simple, predictable, mm -hmm. authentic quality work. 
that is delivered on a global scale by one, one, one company. So my fervent hope is that five years from now, we will be, I don't know, 10 times larger, but feel the same. And that's not so easy to do. I've, I've, I've seen it firsthand how, how difficult it is to maintain the corporate culture uh, with thousands of employees. It's very, it's one thing to have 100 people and very different thing to have 5,000 people. So that's a challenge we have and we will work, I hope, quite hard uh, doing that. And back to, to the earlier point, India for us uh, in, in the investments we're making in the country is absolutely crucial on this, on, on this journey for growth, for strategic capability, for cultural diversity, all of these things we're looking forward to, to mm -hmm. learning, to, uh, to integrate and to uh, work together. Well, thank you so much for that. I think uh, this is what is separating data art at the moment from other companies, organic approach, going by instinct, because usually people have like very set goals, you know, this five years, this is our mark, this is where we have to go. And I think this is the key to expansion for you guys. And it's beautiful how even after so this huge expansion, you're still all in alignment with each other. And uh, if I may, I, I would like to add a different perspective, you know, to how we look at ourselves five years ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot drives in data art on our values. We have some very strong values which dictate how we are today, how we were yesterday, and how we project ourselves tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And one of our primary values is our people-first approach. Mm -hmm. uh, now, when I say people-first, uh, it all works around expertise, uh, around flexibility, around trust. So how do we as data art look at ourselves five years ahead? Mm -hmm. I would say, you know, we want to be one of the most trustworthy organizations globally. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds bombastic, but at least we would like to be trustworthy. We want to be people oriented. We want to be customer centric. We want to, you know, it, 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 as, as Alexi uh, mentioned right up front, we are, we listen to people. We are more a people organization. And mm -hmm. mind you, Tanvi, it may sound cliched in today's technology world to still be people oriented, but we are with our customers, with our clients, with our employees, with ourselves. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's something that is a part of our fabric. Of, mm. of data art. So, you know, we would like to be known as a trusted partner. We would like to, you know, work with resilience and adaptability. Mm. And this has been, I think, we've last 60 minutes, we've talked about adaptability and resilience when it comes to technology and when it also comes to people matters, when it comes to, you know, uh, clients, so on and so forth. So, uh, and of course, Having said all this, we would love to be industry disruptors uh, mm. and we are working towards that. We, we would like to kind of even being 6,000 strong, yet be able to be nimble and agile as a disruptor. You know, we, we only talk about startups to be nimble and agile, but why not look at data art as one company being agile, nimble and a disruptor in the industry space we are in. Uh, so just to add on, thank you. <laughs>